Bonjour, today is vlog day 692. It's Friday and my plan today is kind of dependent on whether or not I have books sitting with Jacqueline right now. I need to go find out. If I do have the books and they're looking good, I've got to start ordering them for, uh, not patrons, Kickstarter backers right away. That's like plan number one today. The other thing I need to do is finish sending off thank yous. I've already seen a bunch of pictures of people receiving their stickers. I'm looking forward to seeing what you do with your stickers. Feel free to post those on the Patreon community page or on Twitter. Wherever, just we could share them, that'd be great. But I gotta finish sending these. It's only, it's not very many left that I have to send compared to the whole pile. So there's that. The Parkers are supposed to be coming into town today. We're also doing a meetup tomorrow night. Well, tonight for you. If you're in Paris right now watching this and it just came out Saturday night, Pan Am Brewing Company, seven o'clock. I announced it on Twitter. That's the plan for tomorrow. Today is that. I was also, uh, Pushan and I were supposed to meet up, talk about something, but I also want to go to the Peloton and give them the coffee that I brought them back, that I brought back for them. Something, something, coffee beans. There's a lot to get done. And we're only in town for a few days, so I really need to get on top of a lot of stuff. So. <laughs> The good news is that the sticker refills are here, so I can keep sending you thank you stickers. The bad news is, no books. Not super worried about it, but I want to get my books to my Kickstarter backers ASAP. I am waiting for them to show up though, just because I want to make sure that they're like, that they look good, that everything is fine, that there are no corrections that need to be made, or production, like big production errors. Seeing it in person often reveals problems that you wouldn't have seen otherwise, but hopefully it's ready to go. Anyways, let's get out of here. I guess you should come with me. It's very, very fruity. Yeah? Yeah. Found these jokers. Not their children, but them. That's good. I'm happy to hang out with them. I'm gonna show them the Rousseau Burger Joint, which I had in my vlog not too long ago. Get them a beer and then send them off to do a bike tour. And in the meantime, I guess I'm, I don't know what I'm doing for work. I got, I gotta do more work. Good door. There's another local beer apparently that's made in the 18th. I gotta find more local beers. It's a windy tunnel. Let's try this upstairs. It's so good to see those guys. Have lunch, chill for a little bit. Hopefully see them again tomorrow. They're on their way from Cameroon back to the States for the summer. It'll be good to catch up with the youngins whenever we see them, hopefully tomorrow as well. I'm gonna go ahead and head to the post office now, send off the rest of these Gustav stickers. Well, I'm gonna buy stamps. I need to tape the envelope shut still. Dang it, one step at a time. I gotta sit down on my computer and actually send a bunch of emails. Keep trying to do it, keep not doing it. I'm just gonna go back to the chateau and do it there because there's no way, no way I'm getting it done in anywhere remotely social today. And that's uh, that's the update. We there's something else I want. Oh. about. We're just talking with the Parkers about this actually, and I was talking with Prashant about this too, but like I'm in this place where between survival mode and th thrival mode, I don't know how to turn that into a rhyme, but going from this place where I had to hustle, 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 and always be working, I never had like quite the energy I wanted to give. I just, I, I, I'm coming out of a long season of uh, the, a long, very exhausting season and haven't really gotten a full amount of time to recuperate. And I think that's what I'm struggling with right now. I want to keep being social. I want to keep seeing people. I want to keep doing things, but I need a little bit more time to kind of get my legs under me. And the last week really proved that. Like I went through a nice high where I was like, I want to see people. I want to do things. This is great. And, uh, and then just kind of pooped out again a little bit, just a little bit tired. And I think it's because I just haven't really fully recuperated yet. And since I'm not planning on taking a break this summer, from doing the vlog like I did last year, which I don't know if I've shared that publicly or not yet, but there you go. The question is, how do I 
take a little bit better care of myself, especially going on this trip. It's Natasha's express goal while we're in New Orleans to make me relax. Like we're gonna just eat and have fun, sleep, get some work done, but she's gonna try and push me to relax a little bit more. And I wanna do that a little bit also now going into that, but there's, it's hard, this balance of like, the things I need to get done, the videos I would like to make before I go. Travel itself is really tiring. All that to say that, I'm sorry if I'm, I, I think I'm gonna try and be a little bit less social here soon. I'm gonna do a meetup tomorrow, obviously, which would be good. I'm gonna try and keep doing the meetups. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep, you know, being as available as I can be, but I'm also gonna try and just get my stuff done at my own kind of easier pace, get a little bit caught up, and uh, kick the productivity levels down a little bit because I've just been working so hard for so long. Speaking of which, we need to start taping these envelopes up. Let's continue this discussion while I tape envelopes. I have had a number of friends and family tell me recently that they're actually kind of concerned that I'm working too much, that I have been working too much. I always take that seriously. I understand that. And it's, it's hard to strike a proper balance. For those of you who've been following for a long time, you know that life was a real struggle last year. Like I had no money and I had a lot of debt and I had just come to the end of my rope in so many ways. And so I got very much into a survivalist mentality and was pushing forward. And even until recently, kept thinking like, I need to do whatever I can to make it, even though things are kind of calming down, getting better. At the same time, literally got a, this tape dispenser is like the worst tape dispenser in the world. What I'm trying to build, what I'm trying to create is something that's, you know, more than just, I'm not, I'm not doing YouTube to be a YouTuber. It's not my goal. That is like, like nobody's real ultimate end goal. Like YouTube could cease to exist in the very near future for unforeseen reasons. And then if YouTuber is your lifelong career goal, ooh, it's not gonna go well. For me, I wanna write, I wanna tell stories, I wanna make movies, like bigger movies. I, I like doing this, I like vlogging a lot. I love telling stories, I love sharing my life. Everything that's going on is good, it's what I want to be doing, but my end goals are different. Was I flashing the address? Was I flashing Shailene's address there that whole time? But in order to get to a place where like, I'm self-sufficient in creating what I wanna create, whether that's books, photography, videos, Space Invader t-shirts, whatever it is, it's, it's just gonna take a lot of work. Like nobody's gonna pay me to get there. I just have to get there without getting paid and eventually hopefully get paid, right? It's the creative life in a nutshell. So because of that, it just requires extra work. I have to show up to teach English. I had to do bike tours last year. I do voice acting. I do a lot of random stuff to make sure I can pay the bills. And then on top of that, I still have to write books and vlog and try to keep this conversation going and keep it interesting. It just means that I don't have a lot of free time. I don't have a lot of social time. I sleep a little bit less. Like not only do I need to work to pay the bills, but then I need to go back to work to hopefully someday pay future bills. So if that's the case, and this is something I accepted a long time ago, it just means I have to work more than I would otherwise have to and maybe want to. The fun thing is that at least I'm working when I'm doing this kind of stuff, taping, you know, thank you stickers to uh, patrons. It's stuff I want to be doing. Like this is the cool stuff. This is exciting. Like, these are people that I'm so grateful for that they support me on Patreon every month, that they're the ones that are making this possible much more quickly than would have otherwise ever been possible. And so on one hand, I hear the concern from friends and family that uh, I'm working too much because I am and I need to tone it down a little bit. And on the other hand, I also just need to keep soldiering on because let's be honest, if I don't, if I, if I don't do it, nobody's going to do it for me. So with that in mind, I am trying to tone things down just a little bit, especially before VidCon, because I wanna have like a full amount of energy for VidCon. And if there are opportunities that come along, I wanna have the energy to take them and really enjoy them. Uh, whereas right now, like, I don't wanna do anything. I just wanna like eat popcorn and watch a movie and, and go to bed, ideally in a real bed. And I hope, I gotta send that email today too. Hope that makes sense. Basically all I'm saying is I just need a little bit of a staycation. And not like a fancy staycation where I'm drinking cocktails and sitting by a pool or anything. I just need to kind of tone things down a little bit and, uh, and try to relax a little bit more. And then I'll start to get bored. I'll start to get itchy. Uh, my creativity will resume its fast pace. My ambitions will start to grow back up and in. And uh, I'll start to feel the desire to do a lot more and to really push myself that much more. That's it. That's really, that's it. It's really hot and sweaty in here. I wanna turn my fan on as I work on this so that I'm not totally boiling the whole time. And seriously, thank you, because honestly, it's, it sounds funny, but the this whole like, uh, just kind of like tiredness and relaxation is only possible because of my patrons in particular. The fact that they support me, they just sent me to Beer Ritz, which was really fun. Got to go hang out down there because of them. Uh, it was an even cheaper trip because I ended up getting to stay with Pushan, so it didn't cost as much. It was just basically a plane ticket and food. It was really exciting. It was really, really fun. But the great irony is that part of the reason that I'm just feeling like, oh man, I need to go to sleep is because 
all of the anxiety and stress and everything that was really weighing me down for the last couple of years is almost entirely lifted. And so I just find myself just being like, all right, time to rest for a minute. Like I've lost all drive and ambition for half a second just because the drive and ambition that I've had has helped to carry me to where I'm at, but I definitely need a break. And it wouldn't have been possible in the slightest if it wasn't for you, which is why I'm sending all of these thank you notes and Sylvester, that's the one I just picked up right here. Your ears, yours is almost in the mail. Raymond C. Jordan. I know these names. Kieran Hagerty, all of you. Thank you so fleeping much because if it wasn't for you guys, I would still be doing like the full on working full time, vlogging and writing full time, doing all this stuff, getting no sleep. And like, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be just sliding into a deep dark hole without you. So thank you very, very much. I think I'm just gonna leave it there for tonight. I, I that this is also precipitated by the fact that I was supposed to go to a friend's play tonight and I would really like to go, but I'm just so, I'm just dead. I just don't, I don't have time. I just don't wanna do anything social right now. So. I think I'm gonna have, I'm gonna go for a run. Please do come to the meetup tonight. Let's hang out and then uh, I'm, and then I'll hide for a little bit after that and try to do some chateau work, get caught up on everything else and uh, get ready for some time in the United States of America. I'm gonna finish this and then go for a run. Uh -huh.